Hello everyone, welcome back to our Tinkercad tutorial. Today we'll be working on using 3 LEDs to create a total of 8 different combinations. So without further ado, let's start by create new circuits. Then remember that once you are into your circuits, you need to change the exercise name. And this time we'll be working on exercise 2.1. Okay? Then we need a Arduino and a breadboard. We'll put the breadboard on top because we are going to use the digital pin over here. Now, to get started, we'll connect the GND first to create a common ground that we have introduced in exercise 1.5. Afterward, you will need to put in the resistor and LED. So we'll start by resistor. Okay, once you drag in the resistor, change the value to 200 ohm. Remember to change it to ohm. Okay, rotate it and maybe you can put it anywhere. For example, you can put it here. Okay, then you will need an LED. So let's say I'll use number 2 for the first one by connecting it here. Since my LED is red, I will match the wire color to rate as well so that it's easier to organize that way so we have number two going in so we need a ground by connect it to the ground row afterwards remember that you can click on the resistor press ctrl c ctrl v on your keyboard to duplicate the resistor so that we don't have to key in the 200 ohm again Alright, then we need another LED. This time, let's say I put it another color. Now, I can use, for example, number 3. Okay, then remember to connect it back to ground again. Since we are doing 3 LED, so we'll take another resistor. Okay, Control c Control v And then, another LED. You can once again change it to any color that you like. Ground it, and this time let's take number 4. Okay, remember that all 3 LED need their own resistor, and now we have connect number 2, 3, and 4. If you like to connect it with other number, it's fine as well. When you do the code, you just need to change it to the number that you have selected over here. Make sure all number are connected, they are all ground, then we are ready to go to the code part. Now, for the coding part, remember that you have to go to the top right corner and click on the code. Okay, and then the built-in code over here, you have to throw it away since we are not going to use it. Now, to control the digital pin and turn on the LED using that, we need the set pin value to hide. Okay, so we'll place this one in our executing area. We are using port number 2, 3, and 4. So we will start with number 2. Then you can duplicate it for number 3 and number 4. But we don't want everything to be turned on initially. So let's say I set one height and two other low. Okay. Take wait one second from the control section and then I can duplicate the whole block twice. Don't connect them yet. Okay, duplicate twice before you actually connect them. Now change the second one to low, height, low, and then low, low, height. Okay? Now when you Press start simulation, they will be brightened up one after another. So this is what we have been doing with the code here. So I, we will only have one that has been turned high at the, uh, at the time. Okay, so there's a total of three LED over here. We can actually make a total of eight different combinations. Okay, one of those combinations is when they are all off, which is all low. So let's do that first. Grab uh, separate one set from the original, duplicate it, connect the set back. Let's say I put the all low on top. Okay, so I have low, low, low. 
which is all off. Can you actually figure out what are the other set? Let me give you a hint. Since we have all off and then we have one on at any time, we can have two on at any time as well. So can you figure out all the other four sets are? So try to do this yourself first. Okay, and pause the video if you would like to try to get all eight combinations done. Alright, so pause the video now. Now, when you are ready, we'll get started now. So, we have three low one, and then one high on each. So there's a total of four combinations over here. So I can duplicate this whole thing. To get another four at the end okay so I have a total of eight we have to look carefully okay now the first one three low then high low 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 high low 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 high okay then the next four let's say the next three I wanted to do two lights brighten at the same time okay let's start with the one that has three low and make the first one high and the second one high you can think of it this way that we shall make it easier now i have the high uh, the low at the back at the bottom most okay then change this one so that the low is at the middle and then after that sorry change this one so that the low is on top and then the final combination will be three high okay so the eight combination will be three low okay Height on the first one, height on the second one, height on the third one, low on the last one, low on the middle one, low on the first one, and then three height. You can close the code and start simulation. Then you will notice that there's a total of eight patterns. Okay, so that's all for this exercise. You may not find this very interesting, but on our next exercise, we will use this same code, this eight combination to work with something called RGB LED, which will be able to produce some very different color than what we have over here. Now, conclusion of this video. With a total of three digital pods, where you can just turn it on or off, you can create a total of eight different combinations. You can demonstrate these different combinations by connecting three LEDs to the three digital ports. That's all for today's video and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.